my beautiful fairy friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Stella, aka STLA, aka Fairy Black Shop Baby. I hope that each and every one of you have a very blessed and a beautiful day. Now you are saying kind things to yourselves and to others. Before I jump into this reading, I want to go ahead and thank all of my returning subscribers, my new subscribers, and those of you who are tuning in for the first time. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you guys are new here, I do have a these products for sale in my website and I do all of my personal reading bookings through my website as well. All the information will be listed down below. And without further ado, my beautiful Saggies, let's go ahead and switch the camera over and jump into your reading. Hello, hello Saggy. Welcome to your reading. I am going to go ahead and light some sage for us and cleanse this space. I just ordered some new products for my nails, so don't come for my nails in the comment section down below. I know that they're looking a little bit ratchet. But we are just gonna make do with what we got, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoy this reading and it finds you well and that it resonates. If it does resonate with you, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. It truly, truly means the world to me to have your guys' comments and to get to connect with you guys. Okay, so here we go. We got some sage for us. Some sage for my sages. Okay, saggy, saggy, saggy. Let's go ahead and grab my lights here to row and jump right in and see what kind of messages we have coming out here today. So already on the bottom of the deck, we can see we have the eight of wands. So new opportunity, new ideas, new blessings, new connections, networking. Okay, so I'm going to be reading this reading as if you are sitting right in front of me. So what is facing you will be how it is presented, how I will read it. I hope you guys like this new setup. I worked really hard on shop renovations, rebranding, making everything look nice and pretty. I really, really love how everything looks now, how everything has been working out lately. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Holy Spirit, thank you. You are welcome here. Thank you for all these messages. Thank you for your beautiful love, your light, your guidance, your protection. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for all of these messages that come out today. May they be divine, clear, and concise, and straight from you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Okay. okay. So this seems like a really spiritual reading here. I'm sorry I keep fixing the rug. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So financial success, entrepreneurship I'm hearing, working with somebody, working with somebody to create a firm foundation, a solid foundation, right? This could be in business, this could be in a rom romantic situation where you are a power couple in essence, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some more cards here and see what we got, okay? Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Thank you so much for these messages. Okay, I'm not gonna take those. Okay, whoop, here we go. Two of wands in reverse here. Maybe feeling some stuck energy, okay? So we're getting some stuck energy here. King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, a lot of reversals here. A lot of inner shadow work here I'm seeing. Okay. So they're saying I should read this reading facing me, that these are not reversals, that it feels like you're off track, but you're actually on track. It might feel like you're going backwards because you're doing some introspection, introspection, but it's not, okay, but it's not what it seems, okay? Everything is not what it seems. So I see you're looking to the future, looking for new career advances, looking for new ways to make money, more ways to make money that actually feel fruitful, ways that you feel comfortable with, things that you are very passionate about, that you can put your fiery passion towards because Sagittarius, you do have a lot of energy. You are very enthusiastic and able to socialize with so many different types of people. So finding something that makes you feel comfortable is very, very important at this time. And I see that's what you're focusing on. Looking for something that is emotionally fulfilling, tapping back into your inner child, looking back on the past 
at how things used to be, how things are now, how things came to be the way that they are. Tapping into your old childhood dreams, I see, going back into the past and looking at how things got to be to where they are. Four of Pentacles here, I see that you're doing a lot of saving, investing, looking at ways that you can make your money work for you and multiply, holding on to your investments, getting interest on your savings account, building your savings account, and investing into your dreams, okay? I see that you're taking this money and you're spending it on things that you're um, very passionate about. I just got a vision of somebody doing van life, somebody living in a van, somebody wanting to travel, right? Okay, Sagittarius, you are very adventurous. So I could see some of you are saving for a nice van. I'm seeing like a sprinter van, like a, like a big van that's like homey, that's home that you could travel with, finding a way that you can make money on the road. And I'm seeing that you're going to be victorious in all of this. You're going to be very, very victorious and very, very fruitful. We have these 10 of cups coming out here. Okay. We did mention the 10 of cups earlier, right? So the 10 of cups is all about wish fulfillment. It's all about getting everything that your heart desires. It's about having so many cups that your cup overfloweth, that you can give back to your community, that you have so much love and passion for everything that is happening, that you're not just passionate about the goal, the destination, that you're passionate about the journey. You're understanding understanding how everything ties together, right? How everything, it goes together, okay? And then we have the sun card, Leo energy. Feeling very accomplished with yourself. Feeling very, like, proud of the things that you've overcome and the things that you've achieved and the things that you've learned and how you've turned out to be this person. How you're understanding, again, that the journey you know, it's just as important as the destination that they go together, that everything happens for a reason, that everything is, it, it's important, it all plays a role, and you're seeing how everything has been working out in your favor. I'm seeing some of you are singers, singers and dancers, wanting to live on tour. Big Sagittarius energy here, big Sagittarius, you're your, your own boss, entrepreneur, Traveling a lot, living on the road. I can see you could be living in hotels part-time too. Just wanting to find a way to travel and do what you love and give back to the community and make it profitable. Okay. So I see that you're you're going back to the you're sorry, I just heard some talking. Okay. Okay, I think somebody's walking outside anyway. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups here. So this is going back to the drawing board and looking at your dreams, looking at your visions, looking at things with bright, starry eyes and trying to find ways that you can make this manifest, that you can make this happen, okay? High Priestess, High Priestess energy here. So you are a very powerful manifester. I see that everything's coming to you with ease, right? At times you might feel like it's very difficult and you're feeling a little bit stuck, feeling like things are a little bit stagnant. But during these times, what is actually happening is spirit is allowing you to process everything that has occurred up until this point, that you can learn those lessons and that you can relax and you can have a break, that it's not always going to be go, 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 that sometimes we have to release ourselves from that dopamine addiction and sit in the silence, sit in the solitude and appreciate those times when things are not currently moving quickly or happening very rapidly, you know what I mean? So enjoying these times down and getting into the state of relaxation, allowing yourself to be able to relax and not feeling like a failure when things are not moving forward or when you think things are not moving forward, being able to step back and let things happen naturally, okay? Okay. High Priestess is somebody who is very in tune with the spirit realm, somebody who is very intuitive and psychic and gets visions and dreams and somebody who is in tune with their spirit guides, their future, their destiny, who knows that there is a prophecy over their life, who knows that they have a destiny for themselves and is working forward to that. This is somebody who trusts their intuition and has seen things in their future and no longer doubts those things when you are in a situation that seems like it might be going against the grain. It seems like it might not be in your favor. You're trusting that process now. You're trusting your instincts. You're trusting 
in the path, in the journey, knowing that these these setbacks, these so-called setbacks are actually set up for your success, that these people who are showing you the side of them is actually your spirit guides pulling that out of these people so that you can see these people and no longer have to deal with them in the future. You can remove their energy now before things start to develop negatively and affect you in a way that is really hard to come back out of, okay? So seeing the true sides of people before things get too bad, okay? So not everybody is going to come with you in this next part of your journey. We have the star card, okay? So the star in reverse here. I feel like in the past, you really doubted your psychic capabilities. You really doubted your intuition. And now you're looking back on the past, you're looking back with nostalgia and you're seeing how it all has actually worked out in your favor that you have been right, that your guides have not let you down, that you it, it is safe for you to trust your instinct, that you are able to see these energies, this aura around people and that you should trust that. You, know, you should not give it a second doubt that you're getting these feelings, these insights, these dreams, these visions for a reason, right? You guys are very, very gifted. You guys are very, very, very gifted. And your spirit guides are telling you that you can trust your gifts, that you can trust your intuition, that there is a calling on your life, that you are chosen, that you are selected for this life path, and that you are going to be capable, that you are more than capable of taking on this this journey on taking on this path it is not a burden it is not too heavy for you to carry that you are selected because you have this this powerful essence within you this powerful ability to speak and connect and to share your light with others that you are not selfish and this is why spirit wants to bless you this is why spirit has blessed you with these gifts with these opportunities that it is yours that it is safe for you to claim it that you no longer need to doubt this that you no longer need to refrain from these feelings of knowing that you're going to be success successful, knowing that this doesn't mean you're not humble because you are very humble. You are very humble. You are a very humble person. You always give back. You always give back more than enough. Sometimes you give so much that your cup is empty and everybody else is overflowing and you're okay with that. And Spirit is saying, it's now it's time for you to fill your cup up. Now it's time for you to see what it's like to be loved by you, to be loved by Spirit because the divine works through you. In those times that you emptied your cup out for others, that was the divine pouring out of you. Now they want to pour back into you. Now they want to give to you so that you have more than enough, so that you are never left on empty, so that you are always feeling fruitful, successful, accomplished, achieved, that when you're in the public eye, you don't have to worry about the evil eyes that are looking at you because they cannot touch you, because you trust in the divine, because you'll always be 10 steps ahead, because your intuition is on point, on point. They think that you don't know what you know and you do. They think that they're being sneaky. They think that they're being stealthy, but you've seen it. You've seen the vision. You got the insight. Now it's just time for you to listen and use that and trust that. Okay, three of pentacles. I see you're working with a team. You're building a team. You are mentoring other people. You're teaching other people about your gifts. You could be a spiritual guru too. You could be somebody who is just very, very uplifting and like encouraging when people come into contact with you you leave them with this radiant energy people feel fulfilled with themselves when they leave from your presence they feel motivated they feel encouraged they feel like they can achieve anything this is a very special group of Sagittarius is that I'm talking to right now okay we have the king of swords in reverse Okay, this is given this is given me a energy of sometimes it feels like you don't want to stand up for yourself because you feel like that will give off the wrong character impression. That'll give off the wrong impression of the character that you've built yourself up to be. This nice, genuine, kind, considerate, compassionate com person. Right? And Spirit's saying that's not true. That's not true. You need to be able to stand up for yourself and use the gift of your voice. Use the power of your voice. Know when to speak. Know when the time is right to speak and know what words to say, right? But don't be afraid to say what you want to say. Don't 
hold back this energy and expect the divine to do everything, right? Sometimes it's in your hands to take back your power, to lead, to be in charge, right? The spirit wants to work through you and that there's this resistance of wanting to stand up for yourself in fear that you could come across as the wrong way. But people will always judge you. People will only see what they are able to see in other people. What exists within them is what they're going to see in you. So if somebody thinks that, you know, you're an a-hole or, you know, you're just rude, if you aren't being inherently rude, right, and you know that you're not and these people are taking it this way, they're taking it in the wrong way, that's not your problem. What is your problem is establishing these boundaries and making sure that they are very well established and people do not cross them, they do not cross you, right? They cross you, they cross the divine. Oh, shoot. I got some, some sage dust in my, my fur. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and light some more sage for us here. This is a very good reading, my Sagis. A very, 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 very powerful group of Sagittariuses that I'm reading for right now. You guys were meant to lead, and that's why this energy is so important that you focus on being able to say what you mean and make it clear and concise and straight to the point and leave the rest of spirit. That's when you leave the rest of spirit is when you know you've done what you need to do on your behalf. It's a very justice energy, very Libra energy here. Speaking for the voiceless type of an energy here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle some more cards for us here, Saji. I love this reading. Thank you guys so much for letting me tune in and tap into this. We have the death and rebirth coming out. So you are on the verge of ending a very, very powerful cycle. A cycle that is about balance and well-being and strength. Finding your inner strength and being able to voice that, right? Being able to share that with people in a way that is clear and concise, okay? Being able to understand what your boundaries are and what is your fears, what is your limitations, and accessing them and using those energies to empower you, right? To move you, to not limit you, to not hold you back, to not reside in a state of anxiety and fear because you feel immobilized by what other people will think of you, right? Giving into your compassion for yourself and for other people and allowing that to lead you, allowing that to guide you, tapping into your ancestry, tapping into your lineage, your lineage, tapping into your spirit guides and tapping into that Akashic energy that is being presented to you and moving forward towards your destiny, knowing that this is your calling, that this was specifically given to you as a gift because the divine trusts it in your hands. The divine wants to bless you because they trust you, because they love you, because they know that you have this ability to lead in a way that is not just King of Swords energy, but it's King of Pentacles energy. It's King of Cups energy. It's High Priestess energy, right? Okay? It's this energy of somebody who is just everything. Somebody who knows how to be bold with their words. Somebody who is very, very charismatic and loving and who does right by the people because he knows, he knows, she knows that we are here to help serve one another, to serve ourselves and to serve the betterment of our community, of our people, of the planet, right? Somebody who is not just out for themselves. Somebody who doesn't want to just see life bless them, but to see life bless other people. Somebody who has a cup that's overflowing so much so that they can give back to people, that they want to do that. That's why this calling is on you because we are in a period of great change, of great change. We are seeing our world change very, very rapidly. Our species has evolved very, very rapidly. And there is no point, on, there is no point of reference for us. There is nowhere that we are just like reaching out besides in our spiritual realm, besides us spiritual people, that we are able to tap in to our guides, to our ancestors, to that Akashic knowledge. There is nothing else for everybody else to tap into. If you're not in tune, you don't know what's going on. If you're not in tune, you're lost. But it's not for everybody to be on this path. But when we are on this path, we have a responsibility to help those who cannot see, right? 
Now it is your choice or not whether you want to accept that responsibility, whether you want to accept your gifts, whether you want to use those gifts for goods. Because let's be straight, there are people who are very gifted who do not, who do not use their gifts for good, right? And there's consequences for that. There's great consequences for that. Spiritual warfare is no joke. It is no joke. But if you are here watching this reading, you are one of the chosen ones who is using your gifts for good, who knows that there is a greater calling on us as humans, as us as spiritual beings, as us as incarnated spirits from other realms, from other planets, who have come here to help everybody to be better, to feel better, to love one another, to understand that there is another way of life, right? That we have other options, okay? There, there's just so much in this reading. This is a very powerful reading. It's a very, very powerful reading. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. So much for letting me tune in and tap into your energy. And I truly hope that this reading found you well and that it resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you guys would love to book with me, all of that information will also be listed down below. I'll see you guys again very, very soon, my beautiful sages. I love you guys very, very much. Don't forget to drink water and say kind things to yourselves and to others. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace, love, and light. Bye.